Hey guys, today I am doing a review video of a new beauty and accessories subscription box. The subscription company that I'm talking about is called Wantable and this is what a box looks like. Very simple, kind of chic. I like their website. I think their website is also very sophisticated and well put together and easy to, you know, navigate through. So I like that about them. It's basic, it's black and white. So you get just says a beautiful new thing in black it's all white and then you get like the black confetti and black tissue on the inside so very very simple very chic and whether you get the accessories box or the beauty box uh, you get the same look so the first one I wanted to review was the accessories one because that was the one that I originally had kind of been drawn to just because I already have experienced beauty boxes but I've never really done like a, an accessories or fashion box. What you do basically to set up your subscription is you fill out a questionnaire and they show you different items and you say whether you like or you hate or you kind of like or you love and then they put together, they hand pick pieces for you depending on your style. I did fill out the questionnaires however they did tell me that because this was a promo box it wouldn't be exactly the same as the things that I had picked, if that makes sense. So not everything is my style and you'll probably see that, but for the most part, a lot of the things are. So the first thing that I got were these earrings that I have on today and I love them. These are just basic silver hoops, but they're quite big. Um, I have smaller ones, but I think these, if you just want like a more dramatic look, you know, I just, I think they're very simple and classic and they go with anything. So they have rhinestones all the way down and then all at the inside of the back part. So it looks like they're all the way around, but they're actually not. You'll see that it kind of stops. It stops here uh, and then it continues on in the inside. So I thought that was kind of cool. One thing I will say about these is that they're quite hard to put on just because the gap is tiny. So when you're putting them on, you really have to like squish your ear in there. Next thing that I got was a bracelet and this is a little bit funkier than what I would normally wear. It's just a studded gold bracelet. It's like a statement piece. It's not something that I probably would have picked myself, but I think if you're maybe a little bit younger or if you're just into statement pieces, this would be perfect. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna give this to my sister though because this is more her style. Next up we have a necklace and I actually really like this. I don't know if it would have been in my box had this not been a promo box and had this been, you know, just my specific picks, but I really like it. It's a little bit different. Uh, it looks like this. It is a gray stone and then it's kind of on a gold chain and then it's got a little leaf detail on here, which I think is cool. It's got some chain detailing on the actual stone as well. This is a little bit eclectic. It's a little bit vintage inspired. I think it's quite cool and quite funky. Um, and I think it would kind of make a statement on any outfit without being too out there. And the last thing in the accessories box and probably the best thing was these sunnies. Now, unfortunately, I love them. I think they're so cute and so chic. I love the tortoiseshell on them and I just love the colors. I think this would look really good with gold, which I wear a lot of uh, usually, especially in the summertime, which is probably when I would be using these. Unfortunately, the only thing about these is that they do not suit me. I'll show you guys. They just, I don't think that they are the right style for me. Really cute sunnies, but unfortunately they just do not suit my face shape. Um, so I'm gonna pass these on to a good friend who I know will suit them better. So onto the beauty box. Now with the accessories box, you do get about three to four hand-picked boutique items in your box. That's how they describe it on the box and then, or on the website. And then for the beauty box, you get four to five full-size items. And they do say that you get full-size. So the first thing I got was the Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion by Mana. Mana Kadar, um, Beauty Simplified it says. This stuff is to die for. I love how this looks on the skin. Um, it's just a highlight, but it's a liquid highlight. Um, or like, I'm sure you could use this on your legs, on your um, decollete, on maybe just like your the tops of your shoulders or the tops of your arms as well as obviously you know your face and your cheekbones and that kind of thing but I just think this is so pretty. Next was a nail polish and the brand is Laca and & Co and company. Uh, I love the packaging of this. I just think this is so 
cute and different and kind of fun. Um, the shade that I got was Greedy Guts, and I will say that this did not look to me like a nail polish at all. I did not expect this. To, I just thought this was a lip gloss. Nice red perfect for me because that's all I wear on my toes pretty much so I really like that shade I got a lipstick this is by the brand face from Stockholm which is interesting I'd never heard of that before and when I first opened this it comes in a shiny tube when I first opened this I was like oh hell no <laughs> like I am not going to wear this but now I think I've changed my mind after swatching it so to me, when I take this out, it looks like a burnt orange and it doesn't look like something that I would normally pick up at all. It actually comes off a really pretty kind of carly shade um, that isn't too in your face. Like it's shimmery and it's probably good for summer actually. That's what it reminded me of. So I think this will be a good lipstick for next summer. also got a lip balm from the brand Basam cherry 413 again i really like the packaging of this the little birds i think it's kind of vintage inspired i love the tub that it comes in i just think this would look really cute on your dresser it's like something that your grandmother would have this stuff smells amazing and i assume it's tinted so i'm not sure i have yet to try it i also got an eyeshadow now this i'm happy with because it's totally up my alley it's a kind of a shade that i would definitely wear and it is by the brand Lise Watier. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Pretty cool packaging. And the shade is Beige Scintillant. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I think that's French. Beige Scintillant. It's something that I would certainly wear. It's got the W imprinted on it. And um, it just looks very, very natural. Very nude and totally my style. That's pretty much all the full size products that I got. You also get a Lee's Watier, I don't know if I'm, or Watier, I guess if it's French, it's probably Watier. You get a couple of sam just two other samples actually of the eyeshadows. So I got Sunrise Peach and Ver Enchante. That's enchanting green, I think. <laughs> I did French in school, but I can't speak it at all. So that was everything that I received in the two wantable boxes. Now, I will say this is a little bit more expensive. In fact, a lot more expensive than the traditional regular beauty box subscriptions in that it's $36 US dollars every month if you want to do it monthly. And you do get full-size products in the beauty boxes, and then you do get pretty good accessories. They say that they're value of a box, a basic wantable box, is actually $80. So that's what they say on the website. The thing that I like about it though is that you can opt for a once-off payment if you just want one box, like for example they're doing a Halloween box right now, you could get that for $40 instead of paying the $36 a month. So I think that's quite good, especially if you're looking at things like the accessories box because for beauty items, you tend to use those up, whereas with accessories, you if you don't like something or you know if you don't necessarily need something, they can stack up and then you have a heap of junk and it's just like, you know, you don't really want that. So what I will say about it though is that I noticed they have on their little card and their website that you can return items if they aren't to your liking or if they don't fit in with the questionnaire that you answered and returning is free. So that is pretty cool. I will leave the links down below in case you guys are interested. Let me know what you think. If you have tried this box before or if you've tried this service before, let me know if you would prefer an accessories or a beauty box. I personally thought that I would prefer a accessories box but now I think I would probably prefer the beauty box. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!